You'll never try, you'll never know, right? What? I only have one day to prepare. I'm totally lost. Because I know that I will have the result. My hands are trembling. Wow. Uh, wait, wait, wait. A lot of languages. I got the internship in spare devices. I'll be strong. Hey guys, this is the series of videos where I share my experience in searching for and finding my first internship in tech industry as a software developer. During this period, I recorded videos where I shared my experience, my thoughts, my plans and my doubts about searching for the first internship. So enjoy. It's June. <laughs> It's June right now, you know, like the last time I opened and I opened my computer uh, and searched for the files for the recordings that I did for like this series of video, how I'm searching for the first internship. And I found that the last video I did was in April, just right after the interview with the index. And, you know, everything has changed. <laughs> All of my thoughts uh, my plans have changed and the thing is that I was so busy studying so that I didn't even have time to record my like the day when my thoughts have changed so the thing is that I decided to the, the last time when I then when I recorded the video I told that I would apply for the internships in foreign companies. I think I did like two or three times in LinkedIn, but I didn't really work in my CV because I wanted to change it. I also wanted to ask my um, Russian friends who live in France to like give me the resources where to find internships and they gave me, but I didn't really look at them. Um, so, you know, because I didn't really have time, the first, it, I think it happened like naturally, the shift in my thoughts. But what ch has changed is that, first of all, you know, I realized that I don't really have time to keep up with deadlines at school. Because we have, at 21, we have, we signed papers where we have trick dates, not only black hole. And they are, you know, my friends who study, who started studying six months before me, I've already reached the level, like the higher level than they have. For you to have like the impression, I have 200 days of black hole, but my deadline is in 15 days, something like that. I've already actually passed the deadline, so that's why um, I'm recording the video. And yeah, you know, I only have uh, the final project now, FT Transcendence, to work on. And I think there is going to be a proper video about how we made a team and um, how we organized everything, which problems we dealt with and so on. Um, yeah, that's not the <laughs> topic of this video, obviously. Yeah, so the thing is that like I pushed more on studies and I studied like my schedule was study every day and I was at school like for at least eight hours per day, six days out of seven. I had only one weekend, one day off, but the reality was that I didn't really have days off because when when there was like the pressure, when we needed to to fix the bugs in our projects, I didn't have weekends. So it was like two months almost without weekends. Also because I I got sick, I think in, I think just right after April because there was a lot of stress before the interview and my immune system crashed. Um, so one week off because I couldn't do anything because I was sick, then I also had some holidays vacation in May and I went to St. Petersburg um, so and the thing is that like you took this two, I took this two weeks of days off and so that's why I had to kind of work on manage my time and work really hard and I didn't have time for any other activities I gave up dancing I gave up a video editing gave up social networks I mean like Sometimes I, 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 yeah, I haven't, I haven't written any posts since then. 
on Instagram. I did some stories, but didn't do that really much. Um, and also, I I'm still working with students. I'm still teaching English, so it's kind of like fourteen hours of work every day. I mean, I mean with with the school work. <laughs> So it's like, I mean, have, I think, 20 hours um, with teaching lessons, sometimes less, sometimes more. And I kind of manage everything right. The thing that I wanted to say that I'm not complaining, I feel the result that I have. Before I used to, I was the person who asked questions, who asked peers how to do this, how to do that, how to do this project, please help me. And right now I see people coming to me and asking for advice. And this is so amazing. I mean, like this feeling of just you see your growth that you can help not only, I mean, like before some people ask for advice from who were doing projects that I've already done. But right now people asking for the advice for the project that I'm doing as well. That it didn't happen before, and I felt like that I've grown a lot, and yeah. So coming back, uh, that's what happened, and how did I come to this state when I'm working literally every day? Um, and also, it's FT Transcendence project, the final project of the common uh, like circle. And we we made up a team of people who want to do this in one month. Generally, to give you an idea, uh, people do that in three or four months. It's new technologies. It's back end, front end that we haven't learned before. It's also you need to do a single app application just to give you an idea. And there are so many things that you have to study. But I think with this rhythm of life, um, we can do it. And also I was thinking about that I'm sacrificing my time to studies and sometimes I kind of, I didn't really regret because I know that it will have the result in the future. That just only like the summer, I'm giving up my summer to studies, but I'm happy about that because I know that I will have the result of that, that only one summer will give me the years of uh, prosperous and happy life. And even though like I don't go out with my friends anymore, I rarely do video editing. Right now I'm just kind of working on the, my schedule to have at least like probably five hours per week to edit some videos because it's the thing that gives me some motivation to some inspiration and probably new ideas in programming as well so yeah this is the activity that I want to kind of schedule up in my routine also just you know dancing, drawing, walking out the streets before, you know, because I I remember the times that I would go and then I would go for a walk for a couple of hours per day if it's, if the weather is fine. And right now it's summer, it's hot, it's so cool, but I know that I really need, I need to, to make the sacrifice and if you feel like you can, if you have the energy, because I'm constantly having this motivation inside me. So that's why I feel like if you can, you should do. And by having this schedule over two months, I realized that sometimes when you thought that you couldn't, I understand that you can. So please try experimenting with you and some. Sometimes you don't even realize that your body, that your mind, that your brain can work like that. The only thing that I can't sacrifice is the proper sleep because my productivity depends on the sleep, uh, what I eat, what I drink, and how I rest. Because by scrolling the feed or watching movies doesn't help me to 
to get rid of different random thoughts in my mind and to be ready to consume a lot of new information and new knowledge the other day. So, um, yeah, some kind of random thoughts, but I hope you understood main ideas. And yeah, the main point was that I want to concentrate on studies because I, I don't want to be somebody who get depressed at work because you don't understand something or to always run. Um, yeah, anyway, you will watch this video when I finally, like, I don't know, find an internship, move to france or find a job as a junior developer who knows yeah because literally i won't have time to edit those videos so if anyone told me that day in june when i was recording that video that you watched that I would have everything that I was talking about. I would never believe it. But this is January. <laughs> this is Anna from the future. And I'm in Paris now, in Parisian apartment. And I got an internship at Spirit Devices as a Java developer in August 2021. Uh, I successfully passed my internship and in November 2021 I was hired as a junior software developer in the same team. So it means that finally dreams come true, right? So thank you very much for watching it. It's June 2021. I don't know when, when I publish it, but I will do it. Uh, keep motivated and you can do anything if you want. Yes, you can. Thank you again and see you in the next videos. Bye bye, bisous bisous.